really sad to lose Jim, who was like our dean. But if we had to lose Jim, we got the guy we wanted, who was carrying on the tradition in such a wonderful way. A great advocate for Democrats everywhere, a great advocate on climate issues, and we so need climate advocates in Congress right now. So please do everything you can to get the warm welcome of Bernie Nonviolence. Anti-climax. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but first, Gene, can I do a great fundraiser? I'm really impressed. Thank you very much for doing this. And Bill, I had lunch today with Linda Auglis, the National Builder of Wholesalers. So all the beer distributors across the country, she told me that the refrigerator was packed with Port City beer. Yeah. Yeah. share one small idea with you. It's, uh, my father ran his whole life and raised his family with, with maxims, with throwaway one-liners, you know, like, uh, you know, heat loss equals heat gain, and the first loss is best loss, and you can answer your friends and relatives who've been this through, and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> all the 30, 50 warranty, which is 30 seconds or 50 feet. Was ever <laughs> so I've done the same thing as best I can, but I, I came across one this morning. It said the true mark of humility is not self-abnegation, but self-forgetting. Not talking about how, you know, how it's everybody else, but just totally forgetting about yourself. And I thought, God, is that the absolute perfect description for Tim King? that his whole life has been about self-forgetting. From taking that year off when he was in college to go to Central America, you've seen the pictures of him with the Marxist guerrillas, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call the liberation of the theology, too. <laughs> or, or what he did on the Richmond City Council, when he was one of the, a very divided, hostile, fractious council uh, in a majority African American city where he was the healer who brought people together and they elevated to be their leader because he was the healer. Or what he did in the, in the US Senate, which is one of those divided places where he actually went to visit all 99 other senators individually in their offices one by one. Even, even Ted Cruz. <laughs> 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 And then, of course, we saw it in, in Hillary's campaign that he just generously, selflessly threw himself into her election with never a comment about himself. And just a terrific role model. This is the last thing I want to offer you. Um, I, I read once that in my favorite book, which is the, the uh, Time Will Darken it by William Maxwell, that when we look at a painting, our eyes are always drawn to the differences, to the landscape where the mountain meets the sky, or the sky meets the ocean. And if you look at it in real life, you can only look up at the blue sky for like a couple of minutes, it's pretty boring. You can look down at the ocean. It's the difference that matters. And I don't know anybody in Virginia who's better at pointing out the difference between Republicans and Democrats than Tim King. A couple of years ago, he said perfectly, that the biggest difference right now is that Democrats want everybody to vote, and Republicans want the fewest possible number. <laughs> Republicans who are trying to roll back health care provisions for everybody, and as Democrats are trying to expand it, so everybody does health care. But I think the biggest difference at all is between this incredibly quality person and the guy who's running against him. Um, and I don't want to trash him, but anyone who says that he was promising to run the meanest, most vicious campaign Virginia's ever seen provides a remarkable contrast. So have a great time tonight. Thank you for supporting him. Yeah.